when you come to a point where you know that if God does not help me, there is nothing I can do. You have captured my heart. Consume my heart with your love. You have captured my heart. Consume. Hallelujah. The mercy of God is not as cheap as many people make it sound. Just because his mercy does not need it, mean it is cheap. There is a posture you must assume in the spirit for mercy to work for you. God is speaking to someone here that in this conference you will find the anointing. But the, God's assignment tonight is to circumcise us of our pride and everything that will not allow his mercy work in our lives oh i'll, I'll get I, I got a first class you don't worry a job is coming one uncle told me something and god said the race is not to the swift there are people who graduated on their way going back home with their certificates they died and were shredded into pieces Many of us are ashamed of our pain. Many of us are ashamed of our stories. Can you allow your pain tonight to invite the mercies of God? Who taught you that great people don't cry? Who taught you? One of the four living creatures that reflect the glory of God in the throne is the face of a man. God made provision for the humanity of men to be captured in the throne room. Part of the Christian experience allows for your humanity to find expression. Jesus wept. Listen to me, I'm speaking to you. Jesus wept. It is okay to cry. Some of you, you are sitting down right now. There are things that have challenged you. And you have been taught that if you cry, you don't have faith. Let me teach you something. Your tears call his mercy. You get to a point where you say, Lord, if you don't help me, my ministry cannot rise. If you don't help me, I will never marry. If you don't help me, I will never have financial resources. Lord, I've come to a point where we can't build this church. It has remained at foundational level for 10 years. Because I've bragged all around that I'm a man of faith. And now I submit to you. You call his mercy. David was a man who mastered the mercy of God. You see, this David man is somebody we must study. God gave him an option. Whether to leave him in the hands of his enemies or to deal with him. God said, David said, my enemies, men, no way. I, let it be me and you. I know how to beg you. I know what to touch. Every time the nation of Israel were beside by different nations to kill them, Every time it was obvious that defeat was imminent, they would raise a song. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Do you know that was not a special number, it was a formula. Every time three kings would come together and they would know we are dead. They say, leave swords, gather the priests, let Judah move forward. We need to call on God's mercy otherwise they are going to finish us. And the moment they raise that song for he is good and his mercy is endure. God will say, now step back, let me fight. Mm. There are many cheap battles that we have allowed the devil to defeat us in. Because we have gone in the strength of the flesh. Many people are ashamed of the word mercy. Because when you say mercy, you think someone, you are asking because you fornicated with someone or you did something. I shouldn't ask mercy. I'm too matured for mercy. Ah, in today's world, when mercy is your rare God, his presence remains with you. They carried it every time. The ark. When they were going around Jericho, there was no way Jericho would go down. And God said, guys, I don't want to hear your voice now. Let the ark speak. Seven days the ark was speaking while men were quiet. At the seventh day, he said, the ark has won. Shout. One shout brought Jericho down. 
it is of the lord's mercy it is of the lord's mercy it is of the lord's mercy that we are not consumed above the mercy seat between the cherubims that's where you will find me if it is my face you are looking for i have a location when i search the earth i see men who are christians but they are they don't assume that posture they don't need my mercy their self-sufficiency receives my salvation but drives my mercy so you are born again but you never can rise this man standing before you is a product of the mercy of god i know it i'm not ashamed to say it that's why you see him do the things that he does when you look at me you are looking at a man who god has shown mercy and grace he said thou shall arise and have mercy i want to favor them but favor cannot just come until mercy goes before it so oh god arise and have mercy upon this family don't say we are tired it's been witchcraft for 30 years who will break it i know i'm a man of god you will sit down there in pride and watch it happen as if you are not born again but you invoke the mercy of God and watch what happens and God looks at you and says no one has risen in your family I choose you I hold your hand by myself let's go and you will watch battles the angel held the hand of Peter and the gate started opening by themselves by themselves have you been blessed tonight that there is a place we find God that's what happened to Jacob the first time God appeared although God was in a place Jacob's posture didn't allow him to benefit and God had to allow him Laban dealt with him seven years for a wife Laban changed her in the night he got up in the morning to find out that this was not the woman he paid dowry for started another seven years he told Laban please let me go and have my own family laban refused in that frustration he left now esau was going to come and he didn't know what would happen to him that frustration led him when he was alone god said my mercy has been trailing you now i can come some of you because of this message tonight let me tell you you will receive very strange visitations god will tell some of you for 12 years i've been waiting for you to hear this sermon i would have blessed you since but every time you stand your sufficiency is in yourself you will never arrive that way now step back and let me step in the day i met the lord i had fasted and prayed and done all these things i wasn't fasting that day i can't remember praying anything i was just lying down but with a desperation a desperation i will teach you on hunger tomorrow desperation and all of a sudden jesus walked into my room i can't remember inviting him i honestly can't remember he walked to me when people ask me today what is the price to see jesus um, um, it's, it's a bit difficult to answer I can't tell you there is no price but I can also tell you there is a price the price is the price to get his mercy to come your direction that's the price when the mercy of God in fact it is the price for everything in the kingdom if the mercy of God can come towards your direction brothers and sisters you will see people do you know in the Bible many people did the same thing and God rebuked some and left some <laughs> Aaron and Miriam insulted Moses the glory of God came left Miriam leprous as snow and then nothing happened to Aaron how about God your grandfather worship idols my grandfather worship idols and all of a sudden God is lifting me as if they serve Jesus all over in our lives and then he leaves you like this the difference is mercy you will never understand grace till you understand mercy most people who teach grace destroy people because they don't teach mercy my life today i repeat is a
Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.